sorry about that. What he had to say wasn't even, I don't know why he couldn't say it on camera, so I don't know. said anything too important there let's see here what is today the 20 something it's 20 something it's 25th they're closing the road down up here to move a rig i don't know if the phone service will reach to the rig or not but it takes a very long time for them to move a rig it moves about three miles an hour so they're going to shut the road down for about 24 hours to move it about 14 miles So they're going to start taking these delineators down. Yeah, an oil rig, yep. They have wheels on them or they're hauled. And they use up this whole road. Like you can see the delineators on the road, it would totally knock all of them down. So they, you can see they're pulling every other one down right now. So they still leave some up for us in this blow or whatever's going on up here. But then they're going to have to pull them all down so the, the rig will go completely hang off both sides of this the road and then move it back to Prudhoe. I'm not entirely sure why they move them out, move them back. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm leaving Prudhoe Bay headed south. And it's it just looks like normal paved roads right now, but 24th. Okay, so tomorrow, yeah. They're, they're out here. Tomorrow. Pick up trucks, a couple of them. Got the delineator thing. Alright, sounds fun. Um, yeah, so tomorrow they're moving it. But up here, I don't know if I'm going to take a day off or go home or what I'm going to do. Because I don't want to come up here and sit for 24 hours in the truck. That's a waste of fuel. So I just plan accordingly. I had one more trip I wanted to do this week. But I'd be up here tomorrow night again. But the amount of snow on the road while it's snowing still is just... Sort out the chains? No, I gotta sort it out when I get back to the... <laughs> Thank you for the question. I gotta sort it out when I get back to the shop and try them on in the shop and see what the heck happened. I've been... I, I thought about it all night and I can't figure out what the heck is going on with the chains. Except for that maybe I cut and fitted the chains to the old bald tires before I put on these new tires. It's the only thing I could come up with. And I thought I left enough space for a brand new tread. So, but like, it was like way too long and now it's almost a foot too short and I feel like such a rookie. I just cannot even believe that they didn't fit. 82 degrees, yeah. Uh, it's only minus eight here. At least it warmed up. It, last night it was 25 below when I did my last video for you guys. So funny. I'm like, I'm doing a live. He's like, oh, I'll be quiet then. <laughs> yeah, but I don't understand what happened. Oh, the white, uh, you'll never guess what happened with that white W900 that I was driving. I went back the next year. I'm like, can I drive the truck I did last year? And he goes, it burned down to the ground. So, Rumblefish is what I named that truck, and it burned to the ground on an electrical fire. Trucks burn down a lot more often than you would think. He's taking the delineators off there. I'll try not to completely white them out, which going this slow it still is. I'm going 25. See, he's pulling that one up. They just lay them down and then they stick them back up when they're done. I know, I liked that truck. Uh, oh well. Uh, I'm just empty today. Helen, the empty... There's a hurricane coming my way. <laughs> a hurricane? It might be a tornado. I don't know. It looks big. <laughs> okay. I know. It was a super cool truck. Oh, well. My truck's pretty cool, too. <laughs> it's not... Man, we were scrolling through trucks for sale today. 
such a ridiculous price. It's unheard of. Like 2000, like 2020 was like 150,000. Wasn't everything I expected. Oh, that's a bummer because that first truck that I missed was awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Alaska right now. Get some more awesomeness before the day's over. Oh, we better get some more awesomeness. Uh, I plead the fifth on the radios. Come up here and drive and you'll find out. <laughs> it's just my communicator device. Neighbor. Wasilla. Oh, right on. Wasillian. A fellow Wasillian. Oh my gosh, you guys are never going to guess. So, last year in the spring, I f was trying to fit this custom saddle to my main riding horse, so I did all the stuff, and you fit it to her back and bake it in the oven and all this junk, and I sent it in, and they said it, because it's custom, and it fits me, it fits the horse, it's all this stuff, um, she's like, it'll get to you in December. Luckily, the wind's blowing for it now, but they got me going awful fast for the wind's blowing that way. <laughs> Yeah, I know, slow and steady. Yep. So anyway, so they went to send me the saddle and I sent it to my work here in Fairbanks because sometimes they, um, my tenants aren't very good at checking the mail. Can you talk to someone to make sure you are okay, makes it faster. Yeah, that's true. Um, so they sent it and it got turned away because a signature was required. So I said, try sending it again, but don't do a signature required this time. And she just called me today and said, I don't know why, but your saddle is back here again. They said they didn't know who you are. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of snow, yep. It does look different. This road changes every single day. So now I'm trying to have her send the saddle to um, my barn because another saddle showed up there. Yeah, the, I mean, the roads are always improving every year, so. How hard is it to get a driving job? Not too hard at all. They're hiring any freaking yahoo off the street right now. We have been dealing with this. And actually, I'm going to post that, I think, on the Patreon page because it's um, probably not something I want out in the public. But the whole thing that went down with a couple of new drivers up here. And actually, I just posted a video to my Tier 3s of Jack and Caleb talking about the new Carlisle drivers. Uh, I mean, I'm driving the same road, but we're not shooting. And those Carlisle drivers had to be talked to because of the, from the lower 48 driving Volvos up here. Like, if you see a Volvo up here, it's not from here. That we don't even have a dealer up here. So, there was a whole thing that went down, like, people yelling at each other on the radio. Like, this one-year driver yelling at us when he's been up here for 25 years. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it is easier to read. You're right. <laughs> Caps are perfect. Oh, I know. But they've only been up here for a year. And he's been up here for almost 30 years. And I've been up here for almost 20 years. And he's going to tell us how to drive the road. Like, there was a beatdown going on. And then yesterday, the guy stopped. And Caleb stopped. And they went head to head. And I got it on camera. But I'm going to post that on my tier three. So, But, I mean, there's a deal up here where you guys, if you come drive up here, yeah, the hall road you guys come drive up here you can't act like you know it all and get all on the radio and be a ninja because we'll kick your butt <laughs> like it's our it's our safety and that's what i'm doing all the videos for is like it's our livelihood it's our safety and you want to not you but like they want to come up here and like make a buck and don't care about it or whatever and drive totally recklessly and you know it just a chipped windshield because somebody was driving too fast it's, more money out of my pocket you know it's already hard enough with the price of trucks and stuff so i'm like i'm doing my part i'm making the videos i hope they watch before they come up here and drive or they're watching it while they're driving up here and things get better and it's starting to settle it down a little bit but i am trying my darndest tier three on um, my patreon page you know what i haven't done very many good links have i um the the video i posted of the uh patreon it has a link at the end. Throws a new driver a beating, right? I've never been in a fight. I'm not even the radio ninja. I stayed quiet when he yelled at me. <laughs> uh, remember from the truck fest a few years ago? I don't know your name because it's too small. As soon as 
I can back you up. Yeah. Oh, G Dub. Hey, G Dub. I'm telling you, watch my videos, G Dub. G Dub's in the house, people. My partner from South America. Yeah, he's coming up here. These videos are for you. Actually, G Dub's been helping me make these videos by asking questions so that I know what to tell you guys. So he's learning as much as you guys are to come up here, and I am not going to let him be freaking... Oh, yeah, sorry about that, Dale. Yeah, just try to go there, and there's a link there. I'll try to post it a little bit more so that it's easier to find. But, yeah, if you go to Tier 3, I'm putting all the, like, unedited... Yeah, wrote Radio Warriors. Totally. And it was so funny, too, because the guy that stopped wasn't the guy that was running his mouth on the radio. And he kept driving. Is like, He was like, well... I'm not stopping the guy that was like saying that he was gonna he's like I'm gonna fight him naked I'm like what the well, that is weird okay but the other guy stopped and he's like well if he punches me he punches me you know that's what he told his friend and his friend kept going and the other guy stopped and it wasn't the guy that was being all rude to us about telling us driving the road and stuff and he was just like I you know he's trying to smooth things over and I'm like I'll tell you how to smooth thing over make that guy that drove past being a chicken stop and Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Make the guy that stops. Put up. Put up or shut up. Hey, everybody's saying hello to you, G-Dub. <laughs> I'm just going to ride, drive till I run out of service again, guys. It's like I always do. England, right on. Yeah, I'm just really hoping I run into that in Atlanta. up here doing some yahoo stuff so just watch my videos i'll tell you how to drive this road and make peace with everyone up here don't come up here acting like you know it all you're gonna hurt somebody and we don't want that nobody wants to be hurt yeah southbound just out of prudo until i run out of service did i already pass the rig i wasn't paying attention because these delineators aren't down or maybe they didn't make it out that far Oh, tell me about it, Eric. Yeah, I know. Death is stupid up here. So one guy? Is that asphalt? No, yeah, it's asphalt. They paved the Apex Twins. Heck yeah. Um, 80,000? Uh, not gross, no. 